March 7th, St. Thomas Aquinas. St. Thomas Aquinas was born of noble parents in Aquino, Italy, in the year 1226. At the age of 19, he received a Dominican habit at Naples, where he was studying. His family did not approve of him entering the Dominicans, and he was seized by his brothers while on his way to Paris. He suffered two years in captivity in their castle as they tried to assuade him to leave the Dominicans but neither their caresses of his mother and sisters nor the threats and strategies of his brothers could shake him in his vocation. While St. Thomas was in confinement, his brothers endeavored to entrap him into sin by hiring of a prostitute. But the attempt only ended in the triumph of his purity. Snatching from the hearth a burning brand, the saint drove the prostitute from his chamber. Then, marking a cross upon the wall, he knelt down down to pray and forthwith being wrapped in ecstasy an angel girded him with a cord in token of the gift of perpetual chastity which god had given him his family eventually relented and set him free to follow his vocation having at last then escaped saint thomas went to cologne to study under blessed albert the great Thomas's initial studies gave no promise of his later eminence. While studying in Cologne, he rarely spoke, thus earning the nickname the Dumb Ox. Only his teacher, Albert the Great, recognized his abilities and predicted that the lowing of this dumb ox would eventually be heard around the world. By the time he received his doctorate in Paris, Thomas was recognized as an unrivaled genius, and his services were in wide demand, both by the Dominican and the papal court. In 1266 he began his masterpiece, the Summa Theologiae, a vast ambitious exposition of the Catholic faith in which he brilliantly adapted the philosophy of Aristotle in the service of Christian theology. The project was never completed. During Mass one day, Thomas had a mysterious experience that caused him to hang up his writing instruments, never to resume. When asked about his silence, he replied, All that I have written seems to me like so much straw compared to what I have seen and what has been revealed to me. He died on March 7th in the year 1274 at the age of 49. He was canonized in the year 1323 and later declared a doctor of the church. In an encyclical of the year 1879, Pope Leo XIII declared him the prince and master of all scholastic doctors. To one who has faith, no explanation is necessary. To one without faith, no explanation is possible, says St. Thomas Aquinas.